visitors to the Las Vegas Strip may hear a certain sound drifting on the autumn winds. It starts as a murmur and builds to a roar. It's the sound of a nation, Raider Nation. In 2021, for the first time ever, Raiders fans were able to fill Allegiant Stadium to cheer on their team. We've been on a journey for 60 years to build this thing. I just want to say, Raider Nation, welcome home. Raider Nation supported the silver and black through the ups and downs of a season of turmoil and triumph. This has got to be the best place to watch a game, period, in the entire league. This is Vegas, so it's always larger than life. Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world. It boasts the largest spectacles and greatest performers. In 2021, the Raiders were the biggest show in town. Monday Night Football, it is your Las Vegas Raiders hosting the Baltimore Ravens. What a feeling it is to finally have fans here in Allegiant Stadium for a regular season game. Starting the year trailing 17 to 10 in the fourth quarter wasn't ideal. But during the 2021 season, these Raiders became experts at fighting through adversity. Car fires on a cross, spin, Vegas, touchdown! Trailing late, Derek Carr and the Raiders showed their grit. Good snap, good hold, kick on its way! Yes, baby, we're tied! In overtime, the defense made a play when Las Vegas needed it most. It is now sudden death. He's sacked. The ball comes out. Raiders say they've recovered it. Raiders got it. Raiders football. Blitz is picked up. Jones is open. Jackpot, baby! Put it in the W column, baby! This one's over! The Silver and Black and their fans traveled across the country to the Steel City. Roethlisberger fires could be intercepted. Picked off. Trayvon Mullen. After scoring only field goals in the first half, the Raiders found the end zone in the third quarter. Carr lobbing it toward Maru. Got it. Hey, don't lose your stinger, man. We got the lead and let's keep it. We go home with the win. Las Vegas never trailed again. Jackpot, baby! 2-0! Oh. How about that? Hey, man, it starts with us. Go out, let's, let's go. go. Hey, gang on me, gang on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Max Crosby and the Raiders returned home to face another familiar rival. And number 98 showed why he was named to the Pro Bowl for the first time. Can't block me. Can't block me. Hey. Good try, though. Despite trailing 14 to nothing, I love it. It's adversity. The Raiders were undaunted. It's ain't the same Raiders. This is us, bro. We're different. Fittingly, it was the defense that got Las Vegas on the board. And it's going to be a safety. And he's going to give the Raiders the lift they need. Carr drops it off and touchdown, Raiders. Now we got a ball game. The Raiders scored the only points of the third quarter to take their first lead. Man, Renfro is ridiculous. Let's go! All right, we got you, yep. we got us. Absolutely. Let's go, let's Absolutely. keep going. We're not leaving without a dub. The Dolphins tied the score late in the game, and after trading field goals in overtime, the Raiders found triumph with less than three minutes remaining. 
Let's get the win. Do the best in the league. Go win the game. 249 left in overtime. Now the Raiders get the ball. One last shot here. Second and 15. Carr pumps, fires down the middle. Caught! Caught! Let's go! Come on! Ball! Daniel Carlson for the W. Agony on the Raiders sideline. Good snap, good hold. Jackpot, baby! 31-28. For the first time since 2002, Boom. we started out 3-0. and Boom! Two straight losses dampened the Raiders' triumphant 3-0 start. Even worse, a change in leadership amplified the turmoil around the team. Well, a week of unprecedented turmoil in Raider history concludes as we welcome in Rich Bisaccia. He will be the interim head coach. Rich Bisaccia, a well-respected coach with nearly 20 years of NFL experience, was now leading the Raiders. The silver and black were eager to welcome him with a win, something Max Crosby took to heart. And he's hit in the pocket and crushed. Mad Max Crosby rips into Bridgewater. Crosby had three sacks, and the Raiders forced four turnovers. The silver and black cruised to a 34-24 decision. Great response to all the turmoil. The Raiders showed a great deal of resilience and maturity. The Raiders continued their momentum in the second game under Rich Bisaccia. Derek Carr was dominant, completing 31 of 34 pass attempts for 373 yards. Carr's career-high 91.1% completion rate was the second-best single-game percentage in NFL history. Grabbed in the end zone by Foster Moreau. The Raiders are blowing the Eagles away. The Raiders have won two in a row under Rich Bisaccia. Deep within Derek Carr is a competitive fire, a burning desire to, well, you know. The Raiders quarterback was a steadying presence, guiding his team through a trying season. Let's go out, let's communicate and execute, okay? Just like we did. The eight-year veteran threw for a career-best 4,804 yards and 23 touchdowns in 2021. Carr delivered a perfect pass. Carr throws deep corner, jump ball, touchdown! Darren Waller! Waller played in just 11 games because of injury, so Carr's go-to receiver became pro bowler Hunter Renfro. Carr backfired, jackpot baby, Hunter Renfro! The man known as the slot machine cashed in with 103 receptions in 2021, the second most ever in a single season by a Raiders wide receiver. Hunter Renfro goes over 1,000 yards this season. This is an unbelievable year for number 13. Thanksgiving is a time for gratitude. After a three-game slide, the Raiders were surely grateful for having signed former Pro Bowl wide receiver Deshaun Jackson. And there is Deshaun Jackson down the sideline. Jackpot, baby! Carr takes a snap for the gun, pocket holds. Gonna go for the home run ball. Gonna go Deshaun. Penalty flag is thrown in the end zone. It's going to be spotted at the one-yard line. First down and goal. Josh Jacobs gets the handoff. Runs in easy. This was a game of personal triumphs, as Hunter Renfro caught eight passes for a career-high 134 yards. A huge play as Renfro broke wide open on this. 
and NFL scoring leader Daniel Carlson's fourth field goal was a career-long 56 yards, which gave the Raiders a three-point lead in the fourth quarter. But Dallas sent the game to overtime. After forcing a three and out, the Raiders needed only a field goal to win. Penalty flag is going to be first down at the 15. Carlson will come out to see if he can win it on Thanksgiving Day. On its way! Yes! The Raiders come up a winner. And they snap the three-game losing streak. The Raiders had lost five of six games coming out of their bye. They needed to link together some wins if they were to stay in the playoff hunt. We came here with everything still on the line. Everything you wanted. Let's go, man. Win on three. One, two, three. From the gun, quick lob over the top. Edwards reaches up and grabs it. Touchdown. Jackpot, baby. A 10 to nothing lead turned into a four-point deficit late in the game. Wow. Here comes Derek Carr. Let's go! And the offense. You ready? Let's go get it done, huh? Let's go get it! Carr back into the gun. Fires at Foster Moreau, and he's out of bounds. Got the first down. Three seconds on the clock, Carlson. What a chance to win it. This will be a 48-yarder for the win. This was a must win. That moves us to 500. Raider Nation had reason to cheer. A win against the Broncos would keep their playoff chances alive and, for good measure, damage Denver's. Carr takes it straight back, looks to the left, going to float one over the top, grabbed in the corner of the end zone. Jackpot, maybe! The Raiders held the Broncos to just 18 yards on the ground and stopped them on nine of 10 third downs. Lock throws quickly to Judy, and Perriman wrestles him to the ground. Now the Broncos are gonna be forced to punt. The only score of the third quarter gave Las Vegas a lead it would not relinquish. Now it's Barber turn, dives over the top. Jackpot, baby! <laughs> and now they'll see what they can do against the Indianapolis Colts. The Raiders were in a tough spot. On the road, needing a win against the heavily favored Colts to stay in the playoff chase. It's like a playoff atmosphere in here. I love the pressure when you're a visiting team having to silence the crowd. Nothing takes the air out of a hostile stadium more than a nearly eight minute opening drive. Jacobs gonna get a chance, stance right. Jackpot, baby! Touchdown, Raiders! Leading 13 to 10 in the third quarter, a fluke play put the Raiders behind for the first time. You gotta be kidding me. Unbelievable. The resilient Raiders were no strangers to hardship. In the fourth quarter, they retook the lead. Card sprints off to the right, fires on the run. Jackpot, baby! Touchdown, Raiders! Hunter Renfro! After the Colts tied the game at 20 with under two minutes remaining, the outcome was in the hands of Derek Carr. Since 2015, no NFL quarterback has led more game-winning drives. Despite an apparent touchdown getting overturned, Carr and the Raiders drove into range for the sure-footed Daniel Carlson. The Raiders stay alive in a hunt for a playoff spot. It's the Raiders in Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas hosting the Los Angeles Chargers. The winner moves on, the loser goes home, unless there is a tie here tonight. But let's approach this as a winner-take-all game. That's why you play football right here. In the last game of the longest regular season ever, the Raiders' home crowd 
inspired their team. The Raiders lead it by three. Here's Roberts cutting to the middle of the field. Now he's forced back, and he's going to be ball short. Ball, ball comes down, jumping for the ball. The Raiders, the Raiders say they've got it. Play action. Here's Carr looking left, firing touchdown. Jackpot, baby. The Chargers scored two touchdowns to lead 14 to 10 with under two minutes left in the half. I knew it was going to be a fight. Look at him, Renfro fires to him. Touchdown! Carr wanted him all the way. It was the only receiver Derek Carr even looked at. I like it, Four. I like it, Four. The Raiders added a field goal in the fourth quarter to stretch their lead to 15 points. But this game was emblematic of the tumultuous season as a whole. The Chargers tied the game at the end of regulation. Herbert has time, fires, touchdown. touchdown. And we'll go to overtime. Each team kicked a field goal in the extra frame. Whoever scored next would win and secure a spot in the postseason. Third down and eight. Carr looks. <laughs> Goes over to the left-hand side, and Zay Jones makes a heck of a grab for the first down. Third down and four. It's Jacobs, cuts over to the left, slashes back, breaks free, crosses the 30, has a first down. Two seconds on the clock. It'll be Daniel Carlson time for the win. A little 47-yarder. Ladies and gentlemen, are in the playoffs. What a football game! What a season! What a super wild card weekend! The Raiders back in the playoffs for the first time since that 2016 season. Everything we work for is right here. Uh, we either win or we go home. What do you want to do? Win on three. One, two, three. The Raiders trailed in their first playoff game in five years when a Bengals touchdown was counted despite an early whistle. But fighting through adversity was old hat for the silver and black. Here comes Carr looking to the right. Fires in zone. St. Jones has got it. Touchdown. Jackpot, baby. Woo! As time wound down, the Raiders were in position to tie. But came up just short of the eventual AFC champions. There's really no reason to hang your head. You couldn't have asked for a better season dealing with all the stuff you had to deal with. Losing a playoff game is painful, but losing an icon is so much worse. In 2021, John Madden, a man whose name was synonymous with football, passed away. He was a larger-than-life figure who, at age 32, became the coach of the Oakland Raiders. Let's start off and stay after him the whole game. Ah! He led the Silver and Black for a decade and was victorious in some of the most iconic games in NFL history. The Oakland Raiders have scored on the most zany, unbelievable, absolutely impossible dream of a play. Madden is on the field. He wants to know if it's real. They said yes. Get your big butt out of here. He does. Under his watch, the Raiders went to seven AFC Championship games and won the franchise's first Super Bowl. He's going all the way. Old man Willie. John Madden's grin is from ear to ear. He looks like a slick watermelon. He makes a little basketball twist there and pivot. And boom, the ball's there. Boom, we cross him. The left goes to the right, the right goes Madden to the right. retired from coaching and became universally beloved over his nearly three decades in the broadcast booth. How can you find a game that you really like and you can stay in it your whole life? I mean, I'm so damn lucky. This has been the sweetest ride of them all. Thank you.
It is rare for a team coming off a playoff appearance to undergo a major transformation. But the Silver and Black added new leaders with championship experience in general manager Dave Ziegler and head coach Josh McDaniels. We want to win a championship for this organization in a new city, in a new place. Dave and I have, you know, known each other for more than 20 years. We have a very healthy respect for the other person professionally. Probably the best compliment I can give the two of us in terms of our ability to work together is we can disagree wholeheartedly uh, and we'll get to a solution that we both like. It is an honor to represent Raider Nation in this historic franchise. And there will be one focus from here going forward. And simply put, it will be to just win, baby. To do just that, Ziegler immediately reshaped the roster, acquiring cornerback Rock Yassin and signing premier pass rusher Chandler Jones. But Ziegler's biggest splash was on offense. The Raiders' new GM pulled off one of the biggest trades of the offseason, reuniting Derek Carr with his college teammate, Devontae Adams. Oh, man. Oh, who's that guy? Who is this? Yeah. Look at him. He's working on that tan. Good to see you. <laughs> It's good to see you in that yeah. black. Oh, hey, look. Oh, yeah, you this your first time, huh? With new additions joining their established core and new leaders guiding the franchise, the Silver and Black are ready to take the next step. After fighting through the turmoil of an unprecedented season, the Las Vegas Raiders are prepared to stand in triumph as Super Bowl champions. If you look at what the Raiders have been through, the Raiders are looking pretty strong for years to come.